welcome to this video where we will be exploring how to draw chain isomers, which is a type of structure isomer that you need to know uh, for HSC chemistry. If you don't know what chain isomers are, then I suggest you to read some notes on it. We have some on the website or you can uh, browse through your textbook. Either way, uh, you should know what chain isomers are and what structure isomers are. And this video is to draw them. Okay. So let's just write down our topic. And you would know that chain isomers are basically molecules with the same molecular formula, just like all other structural isomers, but they have different carbon chain lengths, okay? Their parent carbon chain lengths are different. So let's just write that down as well. Okay, so how do we draw them? Well, I'm going to use this example of um, C5H12, which is an alkane. Okay, and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw all the different types of, uh, of chain isomers uh, that is possible for this molecule. Okay. So first of all, I think um, the easiest way to draw this, the first uh, molecule, is just a straight 5-carbon chain, just like this, right? I think most people would recognize this structural formula, and they would know how to draw that. So let me just throw in the hydrogens. just like so, and you will see that the parent carbon chain length for this uh, structural formula would be 5. So now that we drew one uh, molecule that has this molecular formula, how do you draw its chain isomer? So if you recall, chain isomers have different parent carbon chain lengths. So what do we need to do is that we need to draw a base with 4. So we minus one. Um, I'll explain why this is the case later. So we have four here. It's because if we draw five carbon atoms, then it will have the same parent carbon chain lengths, which means that the two molecules would not be chain isomers. So I can draw four, and then I have to attach a fifth carbon somewhere uh, here uh, within the four carbon parent chain length structure. So let's just say that we can attach it. If we attach it here uh, to the first carbon, then it will essentially be a five parent carbon chain length structure, which we don't want. So that won't work. If we attach it to the other side, it will basically be the same molecule because you can flip it 180 and it'll be the same thing. And it, again, it will be five carbon chain lengths, which we don't want because um, we want to have different parent carbon chain lengths. If we can attach, we can attach it to the second carbon, and that would basically give us a four parent carbon chain length structure, right? Because we can num uh, name it based on this carbon chain length structure, or we can just go it and name it like that. In either case, it will be four carbon chain uh, length. So. Let's just attach some hydrogens to it to finish off with our structural formula. Just like so. So um, we can go down one further uh, step, which would be three carbon chain length structure. Just like so. And then we can attach, in this case, we need to attach two more because our formula is C5. 
So we can go out like that. Um, as you can see, oops, this should be hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So here, no matter how you uh, name the molecule, so you can treat this as the main carbon chain, it will be three. You can treat this as a like main carbon chain, it will be three. You can treat this as the main carbon chain, it will be three. Uh, same thing if you do it the other way, okay? So the maximum, the longest carbon chain will be three here. And as you can see, they all have the same molecular formula of C5H12. You can count all the hydrogens in each one, it will equal to 12. And they all have different carbon chain lengths, which means that all of these three molecules are chain isomers. You could try draw a base with two carbons, but I don't think it's possible. Um, the general rule of thumb is that you cannot go lower than three because how are you going to attach three carbons to these two carbons and not increasing the carbon length? It's impossible. So if if you attach a, three, like, uh, a carbon to this carbon, it will be three. The, long, the parent carbon chain length will be three. So that won't work because it will be essentially the same molecule as this one. So there's only three possible chain isomers for this alkane. And the lowest you can go is three. And that pretty much applies to, to most chain isomers. So the method to draw, um, oops. So the method to draw chain isomers is essentially to start off with the longest carbon chain length that is indicated by the molecular formula, in this case 5, we draw 5, and then we slowly drop the base carbon chain length down by 1. So we go from 5 to 4, and then we find out how we can attach the extra carbon to the 4 carbon chain length structure so that it decreases the carbon chain length. And then we drop it down all the way down. Eventually, we will stop at the third carbon. Okay, so once you have your main carbon chain length down to number three, that will be your last chain isomer that you need to draw. Um, one quick question is that uh, if students say like, "Oh, what happens if we attach it to carbon number three? Well, essentially, it'll be the same molecule, right? So um, you can draw it like this four. And if you attach it to the second one, it will basically be the same molecule, which I'll show you. Right, it's the same. Why? Because um, IEPAC, you have to number it from the, you have to number substitution groups uh, as the lowest, right? So it'd be two. You you will number it from this way. And essentially, if you flip this 180 degrees, it will, it, will, it, will, it will give you this molecule. Same thing, if you flip this 180, you'll get that molecule. Okay, so I hope this answers the question of drawing chain isomers. Essentially, you just draw the uh, longest parent carbon chain, then you eventually cut down your parent carbon chain length down by one carbon at a time. Eventually, you'll reach three carbons. That's when you stop. All right, see you in the next video where we will talk about position isomers.